when the new college football playoff rankings come out on Sunday, the final college football playoff rankings, because the committee doesn't come back after the bowl season on the, the AP and the coaches do. So do you think that Alabama and Georgia will be positioned uh, so that there is not a rematch in the semifinals? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to be to avoid a rematch in the semifinals. I think it's going to be because they're not going to knock Georgia down to number four for losing to Alabama. Right. It's a two or three debate with Michigan. And honestly, mm -hmm. it's it so matter. funny because yeah. it doesn't matter. Because even when it comes to the selection of the semifinal location, number one gets first pick. So number two is going to wherever number one doesn't go. Mm -hmm. uh, Cotton Bowl and Miami. Last time, Alabama, I think, picked Miami. I could be wrong about that. I couldn't remember. It was Alabama, Oklahoma in the Orange Bowl. It was Clemson and Notre Dame in the Cotton Bowl. Maybe Clemson uh, picked the Cotton Bowl. Anyway, that's that's how that will go. Whoever is number one, and I think it's Alabama. Yeah. I, Michigan has a chance to be number one, but I don't think they're going to do it. If they put Michigan number one, they'll just put Georgia four. And that's why I don't think Michigan will be number one. <laughs> I tend to agree. The one thing the committee is consistent in, though, and it's not consistent in much, is it can make up whatever the hell it wants on, on the final weekend. That's why you don't get actual concrete answers from week to week for the contrived TV product that, that ESPN buys when it bought the playoff, right? They don't want to put any sort of precedent out there that they later have to follow. So... Like I would bet, I would bet on it, sure that that Bama and Georgia will not rematch in the semifinal. Am I one hundred percent confident Bama's won? No, but if they're not, then it'll be Georgia one, or excuse me, Georgia four, Michigan one. Do Do we want to put our CFP and on hats on though? Yeah, let's do it. If the committee and the college football playoff wants to absolutely maximize, you know, maybe ratings and revenues, maybe they want to guarantee an Alabama Georgia rematch and they can only guarantee that by making it a semifinal so they move Michigan to number 1 put Alabama Georgia at 2 and 3 to guarantee that they'll play either in Miami or in Arlington and then you also increase the odds of Michigan getting to play two playoff games and therefore bringing those television ratings to your tele your college football playoff games Jeff, okay so know. pass pass me uh the talking stick at our ritual and I'll put on my uh my big initiation hood. And I'll tell you that if we're really going to do you our good marketing here. here at CFP and on, <laughs> we're going to have this Cincinnati team and we're going to pit them against Alabama. Like there is nothing that we're going to be able to sell for David and Goliath better than Alabama against this first ever group of five team in the college football playoff. Like I think Alabama against Cincinnati is exactly what you sell to the normies to get them to watch a game on December 31st. Mm -hmm. The yeah. way that you get this game on at New Year's Eve parties is by having it be something so simple. Hey, group of five teams never made the college football playoff. This is it. Oh, that's cool. Who are they playing? Alabama. Like That is exactly the Hollywood movie that's going to get all the basics. It's going to get all the normies. Anybody who does not watch college football, people who aren't even sports fans might be able to sign up for that. Because remember, these college football playoff semifinals are going to be on New Year's Eve. That's what I, as I saw the pieces coming together, I was like, ooh, Alabama to one, Cincinnati stays at four, Georgia, Michigan, two, three, flip them however you want, make whatever argument that you want. It's just going to be, you know, coin toss, sidelines, hotels, and jerseys. Yeah, I, I do feel like whatever matchups they they go with, you're probably gonna set ratings records just because Michigan's in there now. And I, I don't I don't think you should overlook the juggernaut that is that fan base. Also, uh, Georgia, Michigan. If we can guarantee that, that means I get my standard definition game that I want so badly. <laughs> Two old school ass teams just trying to run <laughs> the football and win at the line of scrimmage. Let's go. 